Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, as we are playing as King Richard of England. Uh, so, this is going to be our first episode as a new character. Uh, I'm surprised with just how long William the Conqueror lasted. I did not expect uh, him to be around for, what, eight videos? Uh, so, it definitely lasted a lot longer than expected. Now, we did fight a lot of wars in that time, so that slows things down a bit. Uh, but overall, uh, we, we played as him for a very long time. And uh, now we're going to be, for the first time, playing as a new character, and this character has very, very different stats. Uh, we are callous, just, and shy. Those are the key personality traits, of course. And I find the, the fact that we're callous and just to be very, very interesting, you know, because we're, we're heartless, cold-blooded, and different to most people, uh, while also having a very strong sense of justice. So, essentially, what I get from this is we're like, we're like an arch-villain or something like that, like the... Uh, uh, like a lord of, uh, like an evil lord, uh, is what I'm seeing here. Kind of reminds me of a uh, tyranny. Uh, the, uh, I don't remember his name. I don't know if you played that. That's a paradox game, uh, published by Paradox, uh, developed by Obsidian, I think. But the lord in that one's like really evil. Uh, he's like an evil dude, but he also like believes in law and order. Like thinks law and order is like very uh, important. Where you'd be at on the the Dungeons and Dragons type of. Uh, uh, morality, which I don't really know the Dungeon Dragon morality, but I know that there's like one that's, I know it's like chaos and order and then evil or good or something like that is how it's ranked. Again, I know some people are going to correct me. I never played Dungeons and Dragons uh, before, so I don't really know how it works, but I think it's, that's, that's the way it works. So it would be kind of like the, the order, the evil order. Now, again, I know that I'm probably saying the wrong words here and there's going to be some D and D fans that are going to hit me down in the comments. I'm like, that's not what it is, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, that's what I'm getting. It's like we're like an evil lord here that really cares about order and uh, justice and law and, and just really doesn't like people in general. So I feel like we need to uh, kind of act that way, and that's how we're going to do this. So uh, let's go ahead and start by taking a decision. Now, uh, I typically always host a feast uh, whenever I become a uh, new character. Uh, because this is the best way to increase opinion with all of your vassals. However, we are shy, uh, so we don't even want to have feast, and so we're not gonna. We're not gonna have a feast. We don't want all these people in our court. No, uh, no, thank you. That's too many people. So instead, we're gonna go hunting, and that'll be how we won't be able to increase opinion. But it's how we're gonna be able to decrease some of the stress because we're we're on the limit here. Apparently, our, our father dying has affected us quite a bit. Uh, so let's go for a hunt. Uh, he seems like... I don't see why he wouldn't hunt. There's nothing here that would imply that he doesn't doesn't hunt. He's callous. I'm sure he likes hurting uh, innocent creatures. <laughs> so let's go ahead and sound the horn. And we'll do a hunt. And that's how we'll decrease our uh, stress a little bit. We actually might be getting a lot of stress soon because... I do not like the tree he went down. He went down the whole of body. I think this is one of the worst trees in the game, personally. I really don't like this one. It It's just not that great. It gives you, you know, it really helps you deal with stress. Uh, it, it also makes sure you're incredibly healthy uh, overall. Uh, so you see here, we get a medium boost to health. Uh, the iron constitution, we've already seen that affecting him. I think that's the only reason why he's still alive right now is because he went down this route. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't see... Yeah, just maybe maybe you could justify he went down it because he has all these these problems. He's a sick guy with with he's maimed. Maybe I guess we don't have to reset our perks. I suppose we can keep this. Yeah, I guess we'll keep the whole of body, even though I don't really like it. I think it's the worst one out of the uh, the learning. I prefer to go down the scholar or even the theologian. I guess it's fine, guys. We'll stay down here and, and we'll go all the way through it, even though I know that it's not. Yeah, it's not a, a very good one. Uh, let's go ahead and pick our focus. We will continue going down the learning because we do get the, the plus 30% uh, here. So we'll go down this route uh, at the very least to get the scholar one. I think he would be a scholar. Very much so. Uh, so yeah, we'll go down that one. Uh, but I don't think we'll go down the theologian one. Uh, I think we'll likely change up to something else if he's still alive by the time we finish the scholar. Uh, so as such, we're going to do the scholarship focus. That's going to increase development growth. That'll be helpful. Let's increase our learning by three. Learning is is an okay stat. It really helps with the piety, which you can see we need. We're, we are a sinner, uh, so we could definitely use the extra piety. Oh, yes, and I wanted to give up these titles as well. We need the money. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, we spent all that money on the hunt. So we'll stay a little bit above our, our holdings for a few months until we get this, this money situation dealt with. Uh, we also need to increase opinion with somebody. 
Uh, the White Heart. I am riding ahead of the group as the farmland suddenly grows still around me. The silence is almost palpable, and I struggle to hear even the noise of the, ho the horse's hoofs. Just as I'm about to turn back to find the others, I glimpse it ahead of me. Blurry as in a dream, a heart as white as snow. So because they like something from a tail, I must have it, and then our hunt will start. Or because they, it is just a heart, I will hunt, hunt others. I feel like we're going to go after this one. This is the animal we want to kill, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and increase relations with him because this is really hurting us. We're not getting all that, all the money and, and uh, levies from there. You can see our levies are drastically reduced. Oh, I did not know that you gained stress from swaying somebody as shy. Yeah, I guess you do. Yeah. Okay, I remember that now. Uh, I haven't played as a shy character in a while. Okay, interesting. So we will not be able to sway characters without drastically increasing our stress. Because I was kind of more along the line that there's other routes to do this besides just having to, you know, try and make friends with them. Uh, but yeah, I guess we wouldn't do that. All right, so this will probably be the last one we do. We'll, we'll do this one just because we're already doing it. We already took the stress hit. But I suppose after this, we're uh, not going to anymore. Oh, look at this. Wait, we know some secrets that we might not have known before. Although I think we did know these ones. I, I recall the situation with her. And so yeah, we know that some of these are 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 our children. Uh, you can't see them here because they're secrets. So not the oldest one. Got it. So essentially, these two are technically our children. Okay. Those are some secrets that people could use against us if they discover it. Uh, it would be a big issue that they would just be bastards, but yeah, that's uh, one thing of note. Uh, so I follow the white heart into the farmlands, and almost unnatural silence hangs heavy over us, and the sudden sound of a voice startles me. My lord, there you are. I turn around to see the rest of my party having caught up to me. As I look back, the heart is gone. Damn, it got away. So I say, I scouted ahead, yes. <laughs> this increases everybody's opinion of us. I don't know. Uh, we're not an honest person. But yeah, I think, uh, you know what, we're going to do this. We'll do that one. We could have got the opinion boost, which would have been helpful, but I don't know that he would have said that. The hunt is drawn to an end. We mount our horses to leave the farmlands behind us as the light fades from the sky. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Let's gain some prestige from that. So after we get this first, first thing here, as soon as we can change this, which is going to be a while, I'm thinking we might go into Intrigue and then go into the Torture one. Because there's a lot of really interesting things you could do here, and it feels like this would be fitting to our character. Uh, of course, we can't go down that route just yet. Not going to be able to. Uh, so how much money do we need to create this duchy? That's what I need to know here. Uh, and not create it, but to usurp it. 250. So it's going to take a little bit of time before we're going to be able to do that. And until we are able to do that, we're going to be above the holdings. I'm a little bit surprised that we didn't go up to 8. I thought we would have. Let's see what we had here. Uh, we might want to change up a few other things as well with our, our council. Uh, like now change to organize levies, because uh, I think that'll be necessary. I don't know if we have low control anywhere. Get a warnings about it uh, if it's really low. But if it's not that low, you won't. Uh, so we're getting a warning about here. We are going to give that territory up. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna bother with that right now. Uh, so what we're gonna do with the marshals put them on organized levies so we can have more. Since you can see that we have drastically reduced in levy size, I also want to see if we lost those special troops. I wouldn't be surprised if we did. We have her finding secrets or him finding secrets. Excuse me. I think he's still here, so we're gonna let him finish that. We need to obviously focus on domestic affairs. Uh, and probably should continue collecting taxes as well. Uh, so everything else is good to go. So we're going to get this here finished soon. And then uh, we can look at assassinating that guy. I think we'd still go about doing this and uh, trying to get our sister here onto, uh, or, or get her children, which would be our nephews, get them onto the thrones or a nephew and niece, excuse me. That's a niece. So yeah, I'd still like to get them on the throne. Now, I don't know that they'll elect like a, a baby. Uh, I don't think they do. I think they might have to be an adult to get elected. I'm not entirely sure about that, though, uh, whether or not they, they... I think there's definitely a hit to the chance that they'll elect a, a baby. So it's probably fairly unlikely until the child gets older that we'll see them get elected. But there's no reason why we can't slowly start taking out 
the other possible heirs. So we will assassinate him. Uh, did we get something here? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if we got anything a secret there. We might have, though. Let's let's try this. Oh, we are just. And since we're just, we don't just kill people. And with these two traits, we're going to be in, in, you know, very much um, limited. Now, remember, we can do callous stuff, even though we're uh, in things that are, are not just. Uh, because, remember, we made that rule in the beginning of of this series that we can do something that goes against one trait if the other trait justifies it. So we can do something that's not just if the fact that we're callous justifies it, which it does. So we could still assassinate characters. No reason why we can't do that. A callous person would do that. Uh, but if we do that, we're going to be getting the stress, uh, which we don't really want any more than what we already have uh, as of right now. We need to get the stress down just, just a little bit. Uh, so let's go and stop this person from doing these secrets, and we'll have him instead disrupt schemes. I'm sure there's going to be some schemes against us, guys. All right, so I don't think there's anything else we need to change here. I think we're good to go. Uh, we could have a war, but we're not going to do anything until we get this these problems dealt with. Uh, so we need to get to that 250 gold. Uh, so let's just put it up on speed 5. A faction was created against us, not surprising. I'm actually surprised that we didn't see the faction happen sooner. That is this one right here. Already we have people joining and they're getting more powerful. We have three earls right now that are part of it. Uh, we've already unlocked a, a new trait here. I guess a new perk, excuse me. I suppose we'll go out to the whole of body. Again, I, I don't really like uh, this, this branch here, but I suppose it makes sense for the character. Him being who he is, wounded and ill and uh, just so many problems. Uh, I definitely see him, you know, maybe focusing on his body so he can stay alive. So yeah, we'll do that. And again, that keeps him, you know, alive. He's now fine despite all of his his issues. Oh, and Beatrice came of age. I, I did forget to get her a. Uh, I forgot to look at all of her kids. So that was my bad, guys. She's a charismatic negotiator though, so she got a good good trait. We have to find a marriage for her. Let's go and get the other kids dealt with uh, while while we still can. Uh, she's a craven, a wrathful craven. Okay, so she's resentful. She's rowdy. Could change that up. Uh, she doesn't have to do that one. She could do the intrigue instead. We'll keep her on the marshal, though. That's fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look. Uh, well, we can't do anything with them because they are... Yes, that's right. Because they are their own peoples. So we won't be able to... You know, their own rulers, I mean. Uh, so we won't be able to do anything with them. I said the own peoples. <laughs> of course, they're, they're people. Uh, so... Uh, I guess some fathers wouldn't, you know, but at this period might not look at their kids as people. They're more like we're property to them. Uh, but we need to arrange a marriage for our daughter. And we need an alliance. Uh, a good, strong alliance would be incredibly helpful right now. We don't have any alliances at all at this moment. Uh, so we want to look for a good alliance. Somebody who's going to actually be able to help us in a conflict uh, if we have any. So we could go with the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, he just is constantly in conflict, though. So that's. Maybe not always uh, desirable being uh, with somebody who's just con constantly pulling you into their conflicts. Could attempt to arrange a marriage up here with King Malcolm IV of Scotland. He doesn't have any kids yet, though. Yeah, no kids. Because, uh, yeah, we're not really conquering into Scotland. We've been focusing on Wales for so long. And, and then we could always go to Ireland instead of Scotland uh, next if we wanted to. There's, of course, the French, uh, which I want to say... Yeah, we already have a... Uh, our nephew marrying there. All right, guys. So I found some some marriages that we can do. So the first one is going to be a domestic marriage. Now we don't do domestic marriages very often because you know we we find that our children should be should best be married off to get get us some alliances and and to spread our dynasty to other lands. But in situations like now, when we're we're quite vulnerable, uh, we're pretty weak. Uh, we could see uh, some very powerful factions rise up. In these cases, it is often really good to have an alliance with your most powerful vassals. Now, our most powerful vassal is, of course, the Duchess here. And she is already married, and she's in our, our prison, so we don't have to worry much about her. I wonder how she got all messed up. Oh, she's hurting herself now. In the uh, in the house arrest. to the point where she's just beating herself down. I've seen some people get this trait, and they just maul themselves. Some of the characters in this game... They will maul themselves when they get this trait, so you can expect that her face is going to be uh, again a lot more of those those scars on her. Uh, so she's already in prison, so we don't have to worry about her. The next most powerful vassal, if we're just you know look at our our total vassals here, you'll see the next most powerful one is the Duke Frederick here. 
uh, and he doesn't like us, and he's our, our steward. So I think that he would be a great uh, time, uh, this would be a great time and a great uh, candidate for one of the few times that we're going to be doing domestic marriages. And this was actually something that happened all the time in history. You know, marriages weren't just between princes and princesses, you know, of different realms. Uh, you'd, you'd see kings constantly marrying their, their children, sons and daughters, to powerful nobles in a realm in order to secure that family's support for their, their dynasty on the throne. So uh, it happened all the time, uh, a lot more than, than we've done so far in this series, uh, you know, arranging marriages with your... Uh, uh, with your powerful nobles. So yeah, let's go and arrange a marriage here uh, for, well, he has a couple choices. We could marry one of his daughters, or you can marry off one of his, marry to one of his sons. I think we're gonna go ahead and marry, uh, I mean, could try and get, you know, marry a daughter to get this land. I don't think that's really necessary, guys. Uh, and plus, um, you know, there's, we're not gonna get that land. We'd have to kill his sons, and, and we're not gonna be able to do that without getting a lot of stress. So let's go ahead and arrange the marriage for his son here. And we'll be doing the marriage between him and our eldest daughter, uh, Beatrice. And they'll get married in six years. Uh, so uh, he will do the matrilineal marriage as well. Uh, so we'll do that just because he's willing to agree to it. Uh, so and, and you never know. Uh, if, if his brother dies, then maybe you'll see our dynasty on the throne over there. Uh, so we'll arrange that marriage. They'll be accepting that. And then we're also going to try arranging a marriage here in Brittany again. Uh, this time, though... I feel like things are in a much better situation. So, as long as she lives, she is set to inherit uh, this title here. Uh, you can see that she's uh, the top one to inherit, and then next it would go to his his sons, his other sons, and then then to his next grandson. So as long as she lives, she's definitely going to get the the title. And we know that there's no way that she could, uh, you know, lose it with another child popping up because the son is dead. Uh, so he can't have any more kids. So therefore, we know that as long as she lives, and no problems happen with the the duchy here, where you know the, the petty king loses control of Brittany before he dies, which he's pretty old, so fairly unlikely. We know that that we're probably going to be able to uh, inherit here. So let's go and arrange a marriage uh, between her and our eldest son, Prince Adam, and he will not accept it. Okay, uh, because yeah, that makes sense uh, that he wouldn't accept that. Uh, considering the fact that uh, this is his daughter and heir, or his granddaughter and heir. Uh, so, of course, she, he would not accept that uh, because it's a patrilineal marriage. So we could instead arrange the marriage with Prince... Oops, nope, my bad. I meant to say Prince Richard, and that might change it. Probably not, though. No, that makes it even less likely. So we'd have to force the marriage. See, I didn't check this beforehand. Uh, so we'd have to get... A secret on him and try and force it. This is going to be really difficult to do. Uh, I don't expect we'll be able to do it in this particular case, but we'll try. We'll try and do it. Uh, the, so that was one marriage, and yeah, we might not be able to do it. Uh, we'll see. He, he's not going to be alive that much longer. Uh, so yeah, you can see he's he's having health problems. So I don't know if we'll be able to get this done in time. Let's hope we can. Uh, and then the other one is here in Castile, where. We have a couple of different options uh, of marriages we could do. Now, this is one we could have married our eldest daughter to, uh, and he's willing to do a matrilineal marriage too, but he's possessed. So I figured that probably wouldn't be uh, for the best. Uh, so instead, we were going to do the marriage with his younger son here, uh, which he'll also be willing to do a matrilineal marriage. Uh, and we'll be doing this with our youngest daughter, if we can find her here. Princess Matilda, that's our half sister. No, it's. Uh, Okay, she's our ward too. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. Oh uh, yeah, it, it's another Matilda. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the marriage here, and it will be a matrilineal marriage. And the chance that he's going to inherit without us helping that happen is pretty unlikely because he has two brothers in front of him. Uh, so probably not going to inherit here. Um, oops, I want to look at the dynasty there. I wanted to look at his father's title. Yeah, he's third for inheriting. So. Not likely, uh, unless we, again, unless we did something about it. They do have a chance of being inbred. That's okay, though. Uh, and Matilda's actually going to get a lot of prestige from this, too. All right, so let's go and arrange that marriage. So we have our daughters married off. And that gave us an alliance. That's the reason why I wanted to marry uh, Castile, is that's a powerful alliance here. And then now we just need, that's another alliance, and that's going to keep him from joining any factions. Factions, F7, isn't it? So yeah, he won't be able to join any factions against us, and that's good. Because just him joining could push this faction into the point where they'll be able to, 
to do something there. Uh, our sister died. Our half-sister. Oh, wow. We just looked at her. She was sickly. Uh, this is um, the William the Conqueror's final daughter. Okay, I was wondering who that was. So she didn't have a son. She had a daughter, and she was sickly, and she died. That's, that's sad. I never really got to know her. Uh, but we knew her enough to get stressed from that, and knew her enough that it's pushed us into the next stress level. So I was expecting that to happen. So we'll have a mental breakdown here. I think we, we started with a lot of stress, probably because our father died. Uh, Defender of the Faith. There is commotion among the children today. Uh, wolf, wolf guilt? I, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Matilda was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of the Lord and chased away the other children. Okay, so this is because we are the guardian of her. And I, I don't know if we've seen this event. Uh, you know, It happens all the time. But I don't know that we saw that in this series or not. We might have very early in it. It's been a long time since we were educating one of our own children. I think we did see this, though, uh, so I probably shouldn't have to explain it to you guys. Uh, so basically, we get to choose which one of the traits we want and whether we want to take this dress to do so. So she just got the zealous trait. Uh, we could say, don't be afraid, charge in when you have to, and that would give her brave. Uh, we ourselves are not a brave character, not a coward either. She is actually a coward, so that would have to remove that trait, wouldn't it? Because they're opposites, I assume it would remove it. Uh, and then we have, let me tell you how you could have meditated, uh, or mediated this, excuse me. And that'll give us the calm, give her the calm. I I'm saying, we're fine with saying you will serve the divine well, child. We don't need to take that extra stress. Uh, we did finish up the homesteads as well, and we now have the money to deal with this, so we'll do with that in a second. Let's see what happens in this event here, and we're going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, staring at stars from all evenings watching stars I've seen my own I've seen with my own eyes what I've only heard of before the stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times but seemingly in large groups depending on which celestial sphere they belong to indeed with the right calculations one could even predict their movement my archbishop my archbishop does not approve of course leave the skies be the celestial realm as for the clergy to know so if we do this it would irritate them and we'd gain insight in the heavens uh, and 50 learning lifestyle. Or we say, you are right, I should focus on earthly matters. And then we'll gain piety and we'll get the earthly focus to increase our piety and he will like us more. So what would we do? Yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's anything to say that we'd, we'd do one option over the other. It's just really which one we want to do. And both of them have benefits overall. Um, and, you know, this one's going to get less learning lifestyle, but we're going to get piety. And our piety is in a pretty garbage position right now. We are a sinner. I think that's a large reason why this guy doesn't like us as well. Uh, negative 10 is what we're getting from that. So we can say this, and this would increase his opinion of us. And we get the earthly focus. I just don't think that we're a very pious person. So I'm going to say uh, that's how we're going to go with, with, with our characters. We're not going to be very pious. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll say he's not a very pious guy. And so we'll say, I will find my answers in the heaven. It'll irritate him even further. Remember, we're trying to increase opinion with them, so obviously this is a negative here, but uh, we are going to gain this, uh, which is going to increase stewardship, learning, and our prestige gain. Excellent. Really need to get that prestige up there. Oh, something happened here. Huh. How do we gain more lands? Uh, we did finish uh, Chronicle Writing, and we inherited... Oh, no. Is Adam dead? What happened? What happened to Adam? It looks like he was, like, forced to give up his titles here. And he joined a conflict, the Liberty War. All right, so this is interesting. So, yeah, we gained his two titles. He's still alive, so he's back under control. That means we can change a few things, which is what I, I'm glad we got that. Yeah, I'm guessing, like, forced him off the, the throne or something like that. Forced him off his counties. Uh, so let's go and see what we want him to do here. Remember, he can do either the diplomacy or the learning education. We're doing learning right now, so we'll just keep him on diplomacy, I suppose. So he'll do that. There's some good, uh, really good perks in the, the diplomacy trees. And we haven't done that yet, so we'll have him do that education. Uh, we are going to put him underneath ourselves. I think we already are his guardian. Oh, no. This guy's his guardian. All right, well, let's remove his guardian. That'll irritate that guy, but that's fine. We're going to manage him ourselves. So we'll educate him now, now that we have that option. And let's see what happened over here. 
Uh, he finished the secret task. All right, so he found a secret over here that doesn't really help us. <laughs> we needed the, we needed a secret on him so we could blackmail him. We can keep looking, uh, but yeah, this overall doesn't look like it's gonna work out. Uh, how far away are we from him accepting? Because you can just increase opinion and then make this happen. Let's just take a look. He's at negative 47, so not very likely. Uh, if we increased opinion with them, then that would help. But if we tried to do that, of course, he would like us, uh, or, or excuse me, we'd have to take stress uh, because of the, the sway. He does not like swaying people. We do not have a high chance of success either. Could just give him gold, of course, 165 gold, increased opinion. That would not be enough, though. Yeah, definitely not enough to get him to accept. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to do this or not. We'll see, guys. We'll keep on looking for secrets, I suppose. See if we can't find something. I'm gonna get rid of that there. And yeah, so now we are at war here. Now the total amount of soldiers they have is not much, 1,400, so we should be able to win this conflict. We'll uh, take care of that in a minute. Uh, there's one thing we need to do here, is go ahead and, and deal with this this situation right here uh, to get rid of some of these, these holdings we have, because we have far too many. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with uh, usurping this title. It's 250 gold, we gain some prestige from that. And of course that prince over there won't be too happy about it. And so now we're gonna to want to go ahead and give this to Prince Richard. Uh, we're gonna grant him this title. Now he should be set to get it anyways. And uh, we might wanna to, to make sure that that's already set to happen. Uh, so let's just see what titles we are gonna lose. So yeah, we lose just that one right there. And then he get those earldoms and it looks like he's gonna get an extra one as well. He's gonna get the, the Lester title. I'm not entirely sure why he gets that one. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and we'll just grant these these two of them right now. I'll go ahead and give them this uh, this princedom, which is which is a duchy rank title. So it's going to be this one here, and we're going to give him both of the counties there. He's going to love us, even though he's three years old. <laughs> He'll love us forever. So we now granted him that title. Uh, there's a boy over there with all that lands, and uh, we shouldn't have any problems now with the the succession, other than him getting. Oh, it looks like he's not going to get anything. Okay, so he's not going to get this county over here any longer. Okay, so that's been dealt with. We still are above, though, because of the extra lands that we have here. So we have to grant these off to somebody uh, so we can get rid of these issues that we're having. So yeah, we have the, the Duchy of, of Mercia here under our control. I'm surprised that it hasn't resulted in him getting this, this title. Yeah, but for whatever reason, he's not set to, to get it. Okay, very interesting. So yeah, we have that extra duchy title. We, we, we're just sitting on so many titles right now. Let's deal with this war and then we'll deal with it. I know we're losing money in, in levies, but that's okay. That's fine, guys. Let's raise up our armies and get this, this conflict started. Uh, we are here. Probably would have moved that a different place, but this is fine. Uh, the, we're already set to lose this war right now. So we need to hurry up and get our men going. And we won't have ourselves to command anymore. Uh, we'll have to use the, the Lord Murray. Uh, we do want to split this force up, though. Let's see how we want this to look. Let's go and split off a new army. We did lose... Hmm. Yeah, we lost some of those special forces that we had. The, the special ones that we had for the Duke William's host. But we have one remaining. Not entirely sure why we didn't lose them all. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and build off a little army here for sieges. And just kind of throw out like a big group in there. We don't have very large levies anymore, do we? Yeah, not really. Uh, let's go and move those guys over there and maybe a couple more. Get it down to about 3,000, I think. would be about good. And maybe one more little batch of troops there. There we go. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and move this guy here. Let's go ahead and get him moving to attack that army. Any armies we can find. There's an army here we're going to want to attack. Let's go and attack them. We should win. I, I imagine that they're going to flee. And then with the other army here, I was going to give them a commander. And uh, yeah, this is the siege phase time guy. I'd make it a lot quicker. But it's fine. We'll just put our, our... Well, he was our nephew. He's our cousin now. Put our cousin in charge. Uh, let's go ahead and try and take these counties back. Where's the important county? Let's take a look and see what this is all over. Uh... Defender controls war target. I'm not entirely sure what the war target is for this particular conflict here. Uh, but they do control two provinces. So we'll just go after both of them. One's right there, and then I think the other one's 
right there. So, yeah, we'll take this one first. We'll take a look and see which one's quicker, actually, because we need to get the war score down quickly. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go to this one instead. Just because this one would be quicker to go. And we need to get that war score ticked down as quickly as we can. So that guy did flee. Uh, let's turn this down. I have this, like, flying. All right, so let's go chasing these these guys down. See if we can't get them to attack us in a desirable location. Uh, that would result in us crossing the river, I think. I'm not sure, though. Maybe not. Maybe we get there first. We're not getting a penalty there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and engage him here. Yeah, he's not going to fight us there now. Let's try and go this way, then. You know, I'd prefer that they attack us across the river in, like, uh, some type of defensive bonus that we could get here. Uh, this one here would give us a defender advantage, so if we could fight there, that would be good. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They're super confused. We might be able to catch that one army there, the 841. Maybe. Looks like that's a no. Okay. Let's see what they're doing. They gotta do something. Remember, we are getting the siege done while they're over here dancing around. We don't want to cross the river here. Oh, I cannot seem to select this guy here. Yeah, we don't want to cross the river. We get that penalty, and then it's the wetlands, too. I do want to engage them, but I'm trying to get them to attack me. Uh, the White Heart. As the days pass by and I hear nothing about the White Heart, I grow restless. Surely someone must have seen it. What about all the peasants littering the farmlands? Maybe I should appeal for their assistance as we are determined to get this heart. If you remember, we took that decision. Uh, so we can send a missive. That costs 150 prestige that we don't have. We can send Edric, uh, which gains... He'll get distracted here. He's our marshal. Or we can say, I will not sink that low. You'll no longer hunt for the animal. Yeah, I guess we'll do this one. We'll send Edric to go do it. So yeah, they're just going to sit there. The secret's been exposed. Okay. So again, I want to fight him, but not if he's going to get a defensive bonus. Yeah, we'll just sit here. We'll, we'll take these sieges down. Okay, he's moving now. All right, excellent. Let's go and chase him down. And we'll fight him on the plains. I'm fine with fighting him there. I just don't want him to get any uh, bonuses. Let's see how we're looking here. We would probably win that attack. So let's go ahead and do it, guys. We'll see how things go. Uh, it's going to be a close battle, I think. Uh, but we should win it. We do have a significant advantage here. Looks like our uh, heavy infantry have been countered, as they usually are. We have finished up this siege as well, so let's go ahead and go after the next one. We're down to 40% here now. A big part of that is the battles that have been lost, though. Alright, so there's a victory right there. We'll have to take a look at it. Uh, I don't think it's quite finished yet. We're almost there. We're chasing down troops. Uh, espionage lovers. While performing his duties as my spy master, Earl Odo, has uncovered a secret held by the Petty King. That's what we need. So he has a daughter, and this is a daughter of one of his countess, of his countess. I don't know who inherited it and how they're related. It looks like they, this family might have completely lost control of that county. Yeah, this is very good to know. This will allow us to blackmail him. Yeah, this is excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, that doesn't mean that he's going to agree to it. 75% chance. Let's see how it goes, guys. We did finish up this battle here. We got this up to 20, or, you know, I say up. We're still in the negative, though. Uh, 23%, negative 23% here. Uh, we lost 122 dudes. They lost 647. Uh, looking at the details, we'll see how all of our, all of our people did. Uh, it looks like we killed three other knights. Fantastic. That'll help us out in the war overall. Right, so Earl Hugh killed the most people. All right, let's take a look at the events, see who did the killing. So our knight, which, of course, he's... Pretty good, very good prowess. He's getting into old age now, so he is starting to lose his prowess a bit, but still pretty decent. We almost gave him a title, if you guys remember. I think that was last episode. He killed two people. And then we have uh, the Earl Edgar, who killed this guy here. Just a landless guy. All right, uh, so we got some kills there and some battles. Looks like he's the one that did the majority of it. Uh, I suppose that shouldn't be surprising. He has very good prowess. All right, let's go and dismiss that, and I suppose we'll go after their capital at this point. Uh, we'll see what that army does as well. Uh, I assume they're going to run off somewhere, but we can go after these two capitals here. Uh, let's take a look and see which one is is the leader. 
So we have this guy here, he's the main leader, and that is his province. So we'd probably want to go after that one first. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and run over there. Now, they might be, that might be where their army is retreating to. I suppose we'll see. So we did get the weak hook. Excellent, he accepted it. So let's force him now to accept this marriage. Hopefully this works for Prince Adam so that we can gain control. Now they will not accept it. If we use the, the hook though, they would. And so this would result in us hopefully putting our dynasty on the throne here. And not only that, since it's our heir, if he succeeds us, everything goes all right and we have children, Brittany will be welcomed into the kingdom of England. Uh, so that, hopefully that works out. We'll see you guys. A lot of uh, a lot of things have to happen there, obviously. You know, the marriage isn't isn't all. Let's see if there's anything here we could call our ally in. That's unnecessary. We've pretty much got this war one wrapped up. And of course, he did accept it. Excellent. So now our son is married. I think we only have one child left to find a marriage for, and that's Prince Richard. Uh, so we'll want to find him a good marriage. Figure out who we're gonna who we're gonna marry him off to. Uh, so these guys are retreating down this way, down south. Okay. Maybe we'll chase them down actually, and get them destroyed. So we don't have to worry about them sieging stuff. Ooh, the crusade is happening. So crusader kings, Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and their routes are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Alexander has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. So yeah, the crusades might be starting soon. Crusade hasn't been called yet. The question is, would we would we support a crusade? Uh, I've already kind of decided that I don't think our character should be very pious. So we might not support a crusade. I'm trying to chase these guys down here. All right, so we're going here right now. What we need to do is separate these two. So yeah, we'll, we'll attack right here. Kill those 500 real quick. Nothing they can do about that. And he's not gonna come to their rescue. Uh, our counselor died, Earl Edric. How'd he die? Let's take a look here. Uh, natural causes. All right, 57 years old. Uh, he was married to a dwarf. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at his heir, the Earl Pieter here. And that, the dwarf is not his his mother. Uh, his uh, uh, Earl Edric's previous wife was his mother. So he is the new count here, and he's not a powerful vassal. He's one-legged. Okay, so. That means we have to get a new marshal uh, appointed here. As far as our powerful vassals going, I'm assuming that it's a child, and that's the reason why we have this. Uh, we don't have a powerful vassal. We might need to give it a little bit of time. Yeah, let's just give it a couple days and see if anybody's appointed. Sometimes that doesn't happen immediately. We'll get this battle done. Take a look at the details, see how we did here. Killed a few dudes. I wanna see who killed him. It was Earl Baldwin, okay. So I'll dismiss that. We've completely wiped that army out as well because we did it within the uh, that first phase of battle, the early part of it. Uh, we'll go and attack here now, get those troops wiped out. We're at negative seven percent now. Uh, let's see if they've appointed somebody here. Not yet, so we can put anybody we want. And so I guess we'll put Lord Murray in here because he is fantastic. He's a great marshal, so we're going to place him in there. Okay, we have a. Uh, Total of 56 more days until we get that siege done with. They did raise up another army here that we're gonna have to destroy. Let's see if we can't get these guys engaged. Yeah, we'll fight them right there in the plains. So no advantages to anybody. We are gonna get the win here. And I'm just hoping with these battles and, and capturing combatants that this is how we'll be able to get this done here, guys. All right, so we'll go ahead and attack them there. And this is continuing to tick up the war score because we've been lucky enough to catch them. So yeah, it looks like we will, uh, again, they'll probably take off once we get closer. Yeah, we'll keep trying to catch these guys. And you killed 780, only losing 41. So far these battles have been going very much in our favor. We're now at plus 24%. So let's go after the capitals now. We'll go after this province first, and then we'll do their capital here. He is gonna flee, so let's see if we can't catch him. He might get across the water. Maybe not. Looks like we got him. Yeah, he's trying to get out of there. No luck for him. 
All right, so we can do the compliments for him. Uh, and let's see which one we want to do. We can do, I think this might be more based off of, yeah, I think we want to make this decision based off of his personality. Uh, I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. I'll be sure to mention. So we need to do something that he would he would like. Uh, so clear rationality, youthful vigor, assertive presence, or I will keep it short and professional. Okay, let's see uh, which one he would probably want to do. He's temperate, wrathful, and brave. I kind of feel like his assertive presence, just based on those traits, uh, as far as his skills go, I don't really know how this would have any... I don't know if that'd be learning. I never know exactly uh, what these refer to. We're going to do assertive presence. Yeah, he looks like a guy who wants to be assertive. And he's not very rational. His thing is irrational adventure, so <laughs> that's the way he's described. So he's not a rational guy. And I don't know about youthful vigor, if that would have been good. Well, we don't need to do this anymore. Okay, so let's not waste any more time on that. So he'll go back to disrupting schemes. Yeah, we didn't need to do that last one. Uh, so he was not swayed. Apparently he didn't like that compliment. Uh, he does have respect for us, though, so we've increased the opinion a little bit. we got to get that opinion up with him, man, uh, because we're not getting any of his goodies. It's going to be hard to do, though, because he just, as long as we're a sinner and, you know, we're an adulterer. Once we get rid of that short reign uh, negative, though, and things will change around. We did completely destroy that army. Excellent. And we're now sieging down this capital. There's no other armies to fight. So yeah, might as well just do these two sieges and that should be the end of the conflict. In fact, one of them might be enough to end the conflict. And here we go. Here's the, uh, the Crusades. Uh, the faithful will prepare for war. A papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Lucius issued a call to arms and to all righteous Christian rulers. As a, as a Catholic king, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause, sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To all those who would take the fight against the vile infidels, desecrating the holy grounds of Syria, the Holy See promises full absolution, absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place in heaven. So we say my warriors will be ready and then we'll get involved with it. I've already said, though, that we're not going to be holy as this character. Uh, I, I think he's going to be kind of questioning the very idea of... Uh, of religion. Uh, so we're not going to go with this one. We might be willing to finance it if we had the money. Like just kind of toss some money off over there here, you know, have this. I guess we'll do that. But yeah, we're not going to do the full thing. I know that a lot of people are going to want me to, to get involved in this because we could put our, our dynasty on the throne over here. Uh, but again, I don't think it, it fits our character. Our character is just, we're just going to throw a little bit of money over there. And that'll be the way that we assist. Because we are expected to assist. Now, we are going to be, uh, you know, we're deep in the negative now, so that's not good. And we're even losing money right now. So we need to get this war done so that we can put our armies back. So we need to hurry up and, and get these sieges done. All right, three months here for this one, two months for that one. A faction was created against us. I'll we'll have to take a look at that. We already have a faction, so that might be an additional one. And we have a mental break now. I was waiting for this to fire. It took a while. Well, lately it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by less lascivious, uh, I don't know if that's pronounced right, correct me in the comments if, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? So we can say I must sequester myself to avoid temptation. We'll become reclusive, sounds like something our character would want to do. Uh, and then we'll lose diplomacy and stewardship. Okay, well, we're not very good with diplomacy. That does hurt our, our stewardship rating, though. Uh, perhaps a new view of God will, will help me. And then we'll become a new religion. Okay, again, we're not really a religious person. I don't think we're going to do that. Or you say, I will bite my lip and try to stay focused. Uh, let, let's do this one. I think this is exactly what he'll do, uh, what he would do. He'd want to get reclusive here. So we'll do that one. And we now have gained a reclusive trait, and we lost a little bit of stress, not a lot. Uh, so that is right here. And this character understands much about the movement of the skies. That's right, we got that from that event. All right, so let's let this continue. Uh, and I also wanted to take a look. Ooh, our brother created a cadet branch. I suppose that's not really surprising. He would want to get out from underneath our control here. Not surprising at all, honestly. 
All right, so they are a part of a cadet branch, and they have their own house now. They're still of our dynasty, of course. Uh, they're just a different house. And we did get some prisoners in the siege, and we're at 92%, but not enough. Not high enough to, to end the war just yet, unfortunately. All right, let's take a look at the prisoners we have. We have quite a few of them. Uh, so, and some of these are actual old ones, and this one, yeah, this is with a... You know, we're just going to release her, I think. Yeah, we're just going to release her. Here you go. Well, you know what, actually? Let's get a, a weak hook on her. Because you never know, we might need to do some intrigue over here. I uh, remember we do have a marriage there. So we can ransom him off for 10. I don't see any reason not to. Unless he's really good at anything. He's delicate. Let's go ahead and ransom him off. We also have the Reeve here. Let me make sure that we don't, we're not getting anything from prisoners. We are not. All right, just don't want to lose that. Uh, is he good at anything? He's not. That's fine if we release him. Let's see what money we can get. We get 100. Excellent. This is going to really help. We're deep in debt, man. Uh, we've got this guy here. That's another 100. Uh, but we can't do that one because we've already done something for him. Uh, same with this one here. So we're going to have to wait. All right. So there are other locations to siege down. This one's already siege. I guess we'll go. You know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. In fact, let's just go and disband the army so we don't have to pay for it. Because we should have the 100% here very soon. As soon as we finish this up in 59 days. I got a little bit of money there. Still not quite out of debt yet, unfortunately. Let's we'll see if we can fix that. Ransom off these guys here. There's a 10 gold there, and there's 30 gold here. And did we not let her out? I think we just haven't gotten the, the pop-up yet for it. Because, uh, yeah, we asked her for the hook. There we go. Excellent. All right, so we're out of debt. That's no longer an issue. So that's great. And now we almost have this done here, and then it'll result in us imprisoning them. And then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with them. Maybe just get hooks and increase their feudal contracts, perhaps. Back in the negative here. All right, so this is Earl Gerard of Sussex. I never expected I would grow as close to Earl Gerard as I have done in the past few, yar few years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man, with only my best interests at heart. Okay, uh, so we can say it is so rare to, to find a true friend, uh, and because we're shy and callous, uh, we would gain a lot of stress. Say, I'm still not convinced, and then we gain stress, or I never want to see his face again. Uh, yeah, I I'd figure that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't do this one because two of our two of our traits say no. So yeah, let's just do this one. I will never want to see his face again. So we're gonna have trouble making friends and just trouble overall. I think getting keeping control of people just because we just don't like people. Yet we're still just as well. Uh, so that's gonna make some things difficult. Uh, so we're gonna get some dread from this. Let's go and force our demands. Put those guys in prison, and the faction that faction has now disbanded. Let's go and disband our armies. We are not making hardly anything. Good God. Uh, because we have to get rid of these these holdings here. Okay, so I think what we're going to want to do here is just give up this uh, here. This duchy here. I think would be the best way to do it. Let's take a look and see how inheritance is looking right now. Yeah, we're not, we're not looking like we'll be uh, losing any territory there. I don't think we'll be having any more kids either as long as we have this current wife here. So yeah, I think we're going to give up the the Duchy of, of Mercia. I think that's the best thing for us to do here. It's not really earning us any money anyway because of the, the low control there. So yeah, this would get up rid of two of the counties. Wouldn't quite put us below, but we should be increasing that. I'm surprised it's not hasn't gone to eight yet. Yeah, I'm really surprised it hasn't gone to eight uh, because of... Uh, uh, well, I guess our stewardship does need to go up a little bit more. Yeah, I think it has to be at 15. Yeah, I think it has to be at 15 to get that up. So we really need to find a way to get the stewardship up higher. All right, so now we need to deal with the, the two prisoners. We also need to get a court physician appointed as well. But yeah, we need to deal with these two prisoners here. And we could also release her. Uh, oh, I didn't realize we were getting stress from if you just directly release somebody. Yeah, because of the callousness, so that's not an option. We always got to get something from it. 
So yeah, we could uh, get a weak hook from her, release her. And then with these guys, the, the choice is really money, which I don't think is as good as an option uh, as getting like a weak hook on them. Uh, and then we can also go ahead and take their titles. We have the right to. Uh, so we could, uh, let's see here, where's the uh, revoke titles? So yeah, we could revoke one of their titles. And again, this is not tyranny because they did rebel from us. So I assume we'd want to release, uh, excuse me, I, I assume we'd want to take both of their titles, like take one title from this guy and then one from the other guy, leaving them each with one county so they're not too powerful, De definitely reduces their, their troop numbers. Okay, so that, that'd be one option. Then we could just keep, keep them in the prison to make sure that they don't rebel on us since they do hate us so much. Maybe we'll just imprison all of our vassals <laughs> and that way we don't have to, uh, we never have to worry about it. So she's a cousin of ours, but she's not of our dynasty or of our house. Curious who all she was related to here. Uh, but anyways, next episode, uh, we'll have to figure out what we want to do with these prisoners here. Again, I think we'll at least take their counties. And then it's, it's a matter of whether we want to release them or not. It almost feels like it'd be better to just keep them in there uh, because of uh, the fact that they're just going to join a faction if we let them go because uh, they're going to hate us. We have a, a faction here. Even Earl Hugh has joined a faction against us. And they're trying to get independence too. Man, that's a damn shame. Uh, there's another faction to install Christina on the throne, on the English throne here, and they are powerful enough to do it. Wow, look at all these people that have joined against us, man. Alright, so we've got a powerful faction here that we're going to have to deal with. So we have a lot of options for dealing with these faction members to try and break them down. Uh, the Three main options. First of all, we have one child left to, to marry off. So we could marry uh, that one son that we have. Uh, I think it's just, I think he's the only one that doesn't have, yeah, he's the only one that hasn't had a marriage arranged for him. So we could arrange a marriage for him with one of these, uh, one of these vassals, one of their kids. If we did that, then that would result in an alliance that would keep them out of the faction. Uh, the other option is to attempt to arrest one of them. None of them have committed any crimes, so that would be, I don't think any of them have. Well, she's a known criminal. So we might be able to get away with imprisoning her. Nope, it's still considered tyranny. She must have already been arrested at some point. If she uh, does revolt against that, if we can't arrest her, then the whole faction rises up against us. So that's something to consider. Yeah, you wouldn't want to imprison anybody that you didn't have a good chance of uh, imprisoning. Uh, but that's one option. As to trying to imprison somebody, though, it doesn't look like we have much of a chance with anybody with the exception of this one character here. This is the only one we would be able to uh, successfully imprison. So, so those are the first two. An alliance or, or trying to just imprison one of them. Uh, the third option uh, would be to send our spy master, which remember, our spy master is part of this faction. He's uh, helping them out, so I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, but the other option would be to send them to collect secrets in the counties of some of these individuals, and hopefully we'll get uh, something to either force an arrest so they can't rebel, uh, you know, if we had like a weak hook on them, or if we had a strong hook, then that would completely uh, uh, keep them out of the faction. Uh, so we wouldn't have to worry about them at all. Uh, but yeah, we have to deal with that faction, guys. Uh, we don't want to have to fight it. Uh, so that'll be our immediate issue that we're trying to deal with that. And, and we need to get rid of these lands because this is decreasing everybody's opinion by 30 and decreasing our levy taxes and, and uh, our, our levies and our taxes, excuse me, by 60%. So massive. That's the reason why we're, we don't have any money or any levies. So we need to get rid of all this land, guys. Uh, so that'll be how we open up next episode, uh, dealing with the factions and and getting rid of some of these holdings, uh, specifically these ones. I'm going to create a, uh, a new duke. Um, we're going to get a new duke who loves us, and we'll give him... Yeah, because both of these are in his duchy. So we'll give him both of these two provinces, Leicester and Notting, Nottingham. And then we'll still have one more county that we have to get rid of. Uh, so we might get rid of one of those two, perhaps. That'd be an option. We get a lot of money from those ones, comparatively, though, so... Might not be the best choice. Maybe we should get rid of one of these two instead. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what we'll be doing in the next episode, dealing with those two problems, uh, so that hopefully we can, uh, 
uh, you know, get our, our realm stable again. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, our first episode as King Richard of England. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.